Morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on this beautiful Wednesday morning, September 18th. My name is Bruce Dickey. Do appreciate you tuning in here on Wabash Catch TV over in Salem on Channel 3 here in Flora, up in Louisville, Sisney, Jeff, Fairfield, West Salem, Albion, Browns, all over the place. Kel on uh, channel 100 or channel 99 uh, or uh, channel 3 or channel 25, depending on your fiber system. You can find us anywhere, guys. You can find <laughs> us anywhere. Down there, that's Spencer Meager right here. This is Melinda States. We are going to talk today about the Fairfield paint out. It's coming up in about a week and a half. Uh, a little bit, yeah, it's under two weeks now, isn't it's it? It's under two weeks, yes. Under two weeks, <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about that as well as a cornucopia of stuff. I always love it when I get uh, Spencer in here and he tells me how artists really work and, and uh, how, how we think how you think <laughs> and, and, and that's a, that's a, the, i love seeing the creativity process but uh, we're going to talk about that and all kinds of other things here in just a few minutes you are watching as i said big talk with bruce dickie here on wabash catch tv let me give you a few community events you guys are off screen now if you want to uh, if you want to go ahead and <laughs> Rub your face. There you go. Thank and you. Take a drink. Nose itches. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, some community events going on today. A few things going on this Wednesday. Uh, not a ton, but a few things going on down at Heritage Woods today at 1 o'clock this afternoon. It's country music. Going to be Dave Dillon and friends playing uh, like some, uh, doing some picking and some grinning at the Heritage Woods today, probably for about an hour. I don't know if you've uh, been uh, watching the um, uh, the Ken Burns country music uh, special on PBS. Fascinating stuff. Have you been seeing any of that? Part of it, yes. What'd you think of that? Yeah. All right. It's well, you know, there's still 14 hours to go or something <laughs> like that. But uh, that's pretty good. You haven't that probably you haven't had time. You're on no. the road. Yeah, I'm gone all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the road. Well, that's pretty good if you get a chance to watch it at some point. Uh, also, uh, the uh, going on today at the Floor Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center. It's, they're going to have a big old banana split festival at 2 p.m. today, making ba banana splits for all the residents. That'll be a good time. Again, that's at 2 a.m. this afternoon. Uh, uh, today is also the deadline if you are looking to, to get in the big Bean Days annual color 5K run walk. And if you want to get a shirt, I don't know. I guess if you you want to get a shirt, that'd be cool. But this since this is a color 5K run walk, the shirt's going to get colored up. It's going to get the they where they throw the powder on you, and, uh, and it's a good time. That is uh, today again is the deadline for that. The event. Will be held Bean Days weekend. That's on the 27th at 6 p.m. during Bean Days. And also today over in Centralia, a, a great big old blood drive going on this afternoon uh, from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. A big blood drive. That's seven hours. That's a pretty good sizable one. And that's going to be at the American Legion in Centralia, 117 South Poplar Street. And as I said, running from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. PM. Uh, I am a blood donor. Do either of you donate blood whenever you get the opportunity? I have in the past, but it's you been quite a while. Been a while. You, and I can't. Uh, well, that's fine too. Uh, it's a it's an outstanding uh, event. If you want more information, go to redcrossblood.org, and actually, that's the best way to go about it. Go to redcrossblood.org. Make yourself an appointment for that uh, particular blood drive, and that way you won't have to wait whenever you get there. And you can also fill out one of those uh, fast pass sheets. Uh, you basically look at all the questions in advance. You print it out, off you go, and uh, you're, you'll be set. You'll, it'll probably save you 10, 15, 20 minutes whenever you go to donate blood. Again, that's in Centralia today. Check out redcrossblood.org. Also today, this is the birthday 
of the uh, United States Air Force. It's uh, September 18th every year. Commemorates the establishment of the U.S. Air Force almost from the moment the Wright brothers found a way to soar with the birds. The military incorporated aeronautical pursuits into their missions. However, the Air Force did not become a separate branch of the armed forces until September 18th, 1847. Did you know that the military actually established the Signal Corps as the first aeronautical force in the United States during the Civil War? First missions provided visual communications via flags and torchlights from balloons. And uh, so uh, that uh, tells you how long ago the Air Force really actually got underway, but they uh, created their own service back in 1947. Of course, my uh, nephew, my brother-in-law, check that, my brother-in-law just uh, retired from the Air Force mm -hmm. last year, a 20-year 20 year vet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that really cool. cool. Yeah, very, very proud of him. Jason Edgington. Hi, Edge. I hope you're doing good. Uh, also, today, this is the one I can really get behind. This is National Cheeseburger Day. Uh, September 18th honors America's favorite sandwich with a slice of cheese. A few days ago, we celebrated National Double Cheeseburger Day. However, this is the lighter version. With only, while only a single stack, the tasty burger still earns a celebration. Other claims of the, there are plenty of claims for the invention of the cheeseburger. Uh, back in the 1920s, Lionel Sternberger is reputed to have invented the cheeseburger. In 1926, while working in his father's Pasadena, California sandwich shop, the right stop, spot. During an experiment, he dropped a slice of American cheese on a sizzling hamburger. Cheeseburger did appear on a 1928 menu at Odell's in Los Angeles, which listed a cheeseburger smothered with chili for just 25 cents. Kalen's Restaurant in Louisville says it invented the cheeseburger in 1934. In Denver, Colorado in 1935, a trademark for the name cheeseburger was awarded to Louis Ballast at the Humpty Dumpty Drive-In. And according to the Draw Arcade, the Gus Belt, founder of Steak and Shake, applied for the trademark of cheeseburger in the early 1930s. How do you guys like your cheeseburgers? Uh, well, yeah. done. Yeah. well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. With lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Yeah. You got to lots of cheese. But you got to put the. You know, sometimes you'll see that picture. And actually, I think it was in that picture. The uh, the veggies on top of the cheese. I'm just really not for that personally. If the I don't know what no, you're. I, I like the kitchen sink. Br bring it all. <laughs> <laughs> on top of the cheese, you'll like the cheese right on top. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I'll take it anyway. <laughs> take it anyway. As long as somebody it. makes it for me. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm with you, Spencer. That'll be. That, that, that makes a ton of sense. What's on TV? What's going on on television today? It's mainly baseball, this being a Wednesday. Uh, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals will be at home. Now, it's an afternoon game. It's the businessman special uh, on uh, today. It's uh, Washington Nationals at the St. Louis Cardinals. That'll be at 12-15 this afternoon, uh, com concluding their series. Uh, Max Scherzer on the mound for the Nationals going up against Adam Wainwright for St. Louis. Like I said, that's at 12 15 Fox Sports Midwest Channel 630. The Chicago White Sox will be in action this evening. They'll be in Minnesota taking on the Twins at 6.40 p.m. That is on NBC Sports Chicago, Channel 643. Pitching in that one will be uh, Dylan Covey versus Jake Odorizzi. And one with a little bit of uh, wild card implications. Philadelphia Phillies will be at the Atlanta Braves. That's at 6.20 this evening on ESPN Channel 601. Zach Eflin taking the mound versus Julio Tehran in that ball game. So that's coming up tonight. Cubs are on WGN. They keep that in Chicago. We can't get it. Wish we could. Sorry about that. But the, but that Cubs and Cardinals are tight, 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 along with the Brewers as well. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guests today are Spencer Meager, Melinda States. We're going to talk about the Fairfield paint out, and we're going to do that here when we return on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Right after these words. Do stick around. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. 
with the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guests today, Spencer Meager down there on the end, Melinda States here next to me. She's more of the coordinator, and and, and uh, Spencer's kind of more the wrangler for the uh, <laughs> for the Fairfield Paint Out system. Fairfield, tell me about Fairfield Paint Out. Tell uh, tell everybody what it is, when it is, what's going on, what can uh, what can we expect? Okay, the Fairfield Paint Out is it will be held off. October 1st through the 5th. Okay. Um, we ha invite, well, we don't invite. Artists choose to come to Fairfield, and they paint out of doors for those five days. Okay. And then they display their paintings at the throughout the process, and then we do, they're available for sale, and we also do a judging at the end, so. How, how long have, uh, have you guys been doing a Fairfield paint out? I the think eighth. this is our eighth one. <laughs> this is the eighth one. Eighth year, yeah. Yes. Wow. Um, and uh, how many painters will be coming in? We have 26 we mm -hmm. know that are coming at this point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like a lot. It is, is a lot. Is that a lot, Spencer? Uh, for our event it is. Now there's, there's some events that I go to that will have upwards of 150 painters and that's, that's just crazy. Yeah, when you get that many to run around that town. Seems you know? like, that seems like a lot. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. But our, our events really, really thrived. Uh, and I, th I think the last three years, it's really hit its stride. Uh, as far as getting notoriety out there, artists, we're, we're starting to fill up now. Uh, for the first few years, we kind of wrestled trying to trying to get artists here, but now we've got what, nine we on the waiting list. Eight or nine on the waiting list. And Is we that had, right? Our yeah. registrations actually closed for the number we would take by January one of this year. Yeah, your registration so, closed nine months ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that is that that must be pretty fulfilling for oh, you. It, it is. Yeah. It feels uh, I mean, good. It makes it makes it kind of when you go to the meetings, the organizational meetings, makes you kind of go a little extra spring in your stuff, right. I yes. guess. Right. Yeah. And we have several new artists this year that we haven't we had before. So that will be great to have some 
have some new interest and new blood as well as you you you, you get this are and, uh, and, uh, and spencer you might be able to talk to this you get uh, another person and there might be able to put a little different perspective on right. uh, on a subject right yeah yeah uh, every everybody every artist has their own painting style They're, yeah you know some are lean towards photorealism others lean towards abstract kind of kind of approach to painting um, and then every you know each artist is going to be drawn to different subjects uh, you know a lot of plein air painters like what we term as grunge like alleyways and really uh, ru rusty industrial like like old rundown industrial buildings yeah we, we love that kind of stuff yeah but then there's there's a lot of them that like the uh, you know the nicely manicured landscaped <laughs> homes and things like that so and, and Fairfield and Wayne County in general's got got all of that for you yeah. know to, so there's something there for everybody and there's some that like to do vistas so we have those mm -hmm. i mean the landscape you know yeah. landscapes with farm ground is what mm -hmm. i'm trying to say mm -hmm. <laughs> well and it seems so. like each year there's been kind of a different concentration you've you've had a a, a particular maybe a sp specific event or a specific theme mm -hmm. to the to the uh, mm -hmm. and this is a these are it's a paint out it's a plein air event uh that's french i guess right yes. yeah yeah uh, as i understand it i don't speak french but as i understand it it just means open air okay out, out of doors okay so. what is the is there a is there a particular theme this year that uh, we are following or are we just uh, going to be skipping around to all kinds of things we just told them paint anywhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and there's things the, to paint just paint yeah <laughs> and the artists are they're looking for things to paint so if somebody has a suggestion you know that they think their farm might be a good place to go set up and paint we would love to hear from them right Oh, right now, where if if someone did have a suggestion like that, who how would they, do they give you guys a call up at the uh, up at the chamber office or where uh, well, would they, they call? Well, they can call the chamber office. We have a Facebook page that is pretty active, so okay. you can always check into Fairfield Paint Out on Facebook and leave us a message. Okay. Or you know something that way, um, or you can contact Spencer or I or Christy Horning at Carnaby Square. We we've got. We got people everywhere. All kinds of people, people all over everywhere. the place that you can get a hold of. Uh, okay, now in Fairfield, this starts on Tuesday, October first, right? Correct. Okay, going to run from Tuesday, October first, to the big judging on Saturday, right? Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. Judging is on Saturday. Uh, that's a lot of time. How many? How much work uh, will your typical painter get in from uh, from? Tuesday, well, Tuesday uh, at the, till Saturday. Till Saturday, you got four days there anyway. Most of them will get at least two paintings a day, and yeah. some will get a lot more. <laughs> yeah. We have one. I'm thinking of Larry. How many would he do in a day? Four or five? Uh, he, yeah, he could. Uh, so I mean, one, one of uh, Larry Seawick is one of our uh, returnees. He's been there two, three years, and he does a lot of watercolor work. Although he started working in oils now, but he see, now that slow you down a little bit, right? Working in oils, yeah. It, yeah, it can. It can. It just it takes a little longer to dry. Well, it's, it's not so much the drying, but just the, the way it is applied to the, the oh, canvas. Uh, watercolor is very fluid, so it, it goes on fast. And uh, so, but anyway, uh, Larry, he's it's, he's been known to do five or six in a day. Is this all canvas work, or will you have uh, folks using other media as a as as a canvas, like boards, like the old Mary Porter stuff, or something mm -hmm, like yeah. that? Uh, most of what we call the opaque mediums, oil and acrylic, will be on, on canvas uh -huh. of some sort. Uh, watercolor, of course, is going to be on a specialized paper that's, yeah. that's acid-free and everything. Uh, but then we've also got an artist who may be working in a completely new medium. Uh, it's, uh, I, I guess you call copper it it's copper. Co copper what? Co foil, isn't foil? it? I th yeah, I think so. It's kind of an embossing kind but, of but I, wait a second I, I, I guess i'm confused uh, uh and i and you know and i even watched that artist on uh, 60 minutes on sunday they had they had the doo-doo <laughs> they had the the mark bradford i think was his name he tears mm -hmm. strips off of paper and, and uh, it, it was really cool uh -huh. um but he wasn't using copper tell me what, what is copper uh, copper foil yeah it's i've never done it but it's it's one of our returning artists tammy lynn dickerson she she's very creative very popular among the the buyers yeah you know they they, they just love her work but she recently started working in foil she'll take a sheet of foil much like this piece of paper here set up in front of a uh, so let's say the courthouse in fairfield right and she's got some kind of a scribe that she will draw make an impression in the copper and then kind of like leather tooling i think might yeah. be a similar example she'll 
put different impressions in it to get get depth and dimension to it. And she'll be basically building a a, a, a photo impression yeah. type of thing. But it, but it's flat. It's two dimensional. It's not it's not like a sculpture or anything. Well, that is fascinating. Yeah. And she does she does. I was showing last night. We had a meeting, and I showed him some of her work. She does an incredible job at it. Well, I tell you what, that's that's pretty cool. I tell you what, well, we're going to take a short break. I'm talking here today to Spencer Meager along with Melinda States about the Fairfield paint out. We're going to get into the uh, the details of when and where you might find folks and also when and where you might be able to take a look at some of their work and uh, potentially uh, uh, buy some of their cuz I mean this there is you a, go. this is a buying thing. This is, is a cool this the, you guys are all professionals, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the goal is for them to sell their paint. That's exactly right. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. I'll be back with Spencer and Melinda right after this. Do stick around. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. got a whole house now. Morning folks, welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV uh, talking today with Spencer Meager and Melinda States. We're talking about the Fairfield Pain Out which uh, starts on Tuesday October 1st. I can't believe it's October. Mm -hmm. I know, it's almost here. Good grief time scary. for us. Yeah, it does. It's scary. Uh, yeah, even though it's 90 degrees outside mm -hmm. yeah. yesterday. It won't be, you know, October 1st, it's not going to be 90 degrees. Well, I hope not. Oh, yeah, we hope not either. Have you ever, what's the, what's the typical weather been for? Because this has been the same kind of time frame each year mm -hmm. you've done it. What have you run into? Has it run the gamut? Everything. It, everything. Yeah. We've had pouring We're rain. Had snow. We have not had snow, have we? Not oh, wood. Well, <laughs> this might be the year for it. You know? We have had pouring rain. <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of times you'll have a couple hot days and then it, it may cool down. It may rain. 
How do you artists uh, deal tend to deal with the with the rougher weather conditions from time to time? I mean, uh, heat is heat's a rough enough weather condition. Yeah, heat, heat's probably the the probably the hardest one because it just drains you and you can't stay out in the sun painting. You have to get you have to have some kind of shade, otherwise yeah. you just you, you just you know be burned up so the the artists will check in at uh, frontier that night and they're going to start painting is there mm-hmm. any are, are there any are we seeing any art yet that night because there there you could see uh, art every night right yes you mm-hmm. should they should have something done tuesday don't you think yeah yeah I and, and there will be there will be some that will come in early yeah. and get get if they can find us, we'll stamp them. If they roll into town at 10 o'clock, we'll stamp them. Then they can go out and paint. And so. Is there a particular nocturne evening yet yes, this year? Yes, there is. What, um, is, uh, what is the nocturne? That is Thursday. No. Well, the no- sorry. nocturne is Nocturne every is night. Wednesday. Yeah, they can do it up to Wednesday, I guess. Not, okay. I'll, 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 I'll show you a picture a little bit later. Just to give you an idea, just, just to give you an idea of how much work uh, you you can you'll be able to see. There's one of the uh, displays, that, and uh, that looks like that is probably Saturday morning as uh, as folks are are uh, are. Is, is this down at the? Uh, this was when we were at the landing. You're not at the landing. We're anymore. not at the landing anymore. We're at Bob Boyle's Foundation Hall, oh, okay. Frontier Community College. Um, this was probably. I would say maybe Friday evening early. Okay. Um, because but I, I got to tell you, I, I'm usually busy on Friday nights, and uh, I get there on Saturday to take mm-hmm. a look around, and and yeah, it doesn't look like that anymore. No. Mm-hmm. There are pet paintings. Uh, folks are they are perusing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Perusing with a purpose is what I. I is, <laughs> that is correct. What I, what I would like to think of it. Perusing with a purpose. And see, I mean, here's another kind of look at other displays. That's also down at the landing. Uh-huh. When did you move down to? Uh, when did you move uh, uh, out to Bob Boyle's? Is that Last this year? year was our first year out there. Okay. Uh, and it was mainly space issue. Okay. Uh, you know, when you have 26 artists and they're submitting four or more paintings a day you get a lot of paintings to i've display. got a couple of paintings i'm going to show you from last year's uh let's uh, let's show you the the champion I, I think i've got the champion painting set up here that was that was that the well may not have been the full champions but uh that was the that well, was our representation of fairfield because we do a poster each year from a painting that the committee mm-hmm. feels best represents fairfield Okay. And so that's the Little Red School House. And that was Tom, Tom Bukes. Tom Bukes. Is the artist that did that. Yes. Well, that's a... He's uh, a Wisconsin painter. And so he basically, uh, had he ever been here before, or are you just driving around and uh, saw that? That was, this was his second year, I think. Somebody suggest that to Second or third year. Yeah. Uh, these artists, they go out and no, nose, nose around, scout, yeah, and they, they find stuff. They're, they're turning rocks over and everything, looking for stuff. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't know where you found this one. Uh, that must, I don't think that's in Wayne County, Spencer. No, no that, that, that is by Niall Gordon. He's our, our judge this year. Oh, really? And that is actually at Marceline, Missouri, home okay. of Walt Disney. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that is 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 the uh, is the locomotive still there, or did he was it this there for a period of time, or how did he find the locomotive? I think it's a static display that they have there. I, I've not been to Marceline, but I, I remember when he painted that a couple of years ago. That's pretty good, pretty nice work. Now that's a that's a uh, we'll get back to there. That's that's a uh, that's watercolor there, right? No, that's, that a, that, that's an oil. That's but, an oil and acrylic. But okay. it's but it's it's a very thinly handled no no words a lot of a lot of mineral spirits and stuff to keep it loose and flowing well i mean yeah, the, the the reason i ask and, and and forgive me my stupidity of the question here but that doesn't those don't look like very happy trees those <laughs> <laughs> i mean that don't, that don't look like a bob ross tree you know <laughs> no, what i'm so saying too many bob ross classes <laughs> <laughs> i have watched way too many bob ross tv shows those, those trees just didn't look very happy the train looked okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just kind of putting them in as filler for the background to, okay. to make the, make the train pop out of there well it, it, it really does and, and that kind of gives you an idea of what what you can expect from from the work that these folks are that these folks are, are going to be doing. And when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, some of the other painters that are going to be here as, as well as uh, we we need to talk about all the events, the nocturne judging, and all the other uh, judged events that are coming up. You are watching. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. And uh, we'll be back right in a second with Spencer Meager and Melinda States. We're talking about the Fairfield Paintout. It's going from October 1st through the 5th. Back right after this. Do please stick around. (laughs)
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-pro-rated warranty in the industry, Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome back, folks. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guests today, Spencer Meager and Melinda State. So we're talking about the Fairfield Paynot. It's a plein air event taking place in Fairfield October 1st through October 5th. And uh, one of the cool parts to me, Spencer, and I've had the opportunity to do this, and, and uh, I, I occasionally stop and talk to painters. I will, will often kind of leave them alone mm -hmm. because I mean they're working. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. is, this, this is their job. This yeah. is their job. <laughs> this is their job. But uh, this is a real cool opportunity for for folks to strike up a conversation with a with a, a painter because you guys don't mind talking to folks at all while you're working for the most part, do you? Right, right. It, 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 you know, matter of fact. Uh, you know, we enjoy talking about what we what, what we you do, do. And, sh and showing off what we do. You know, we're show offs. Sure, you so, wouldn't. <laughs> you're not putting it out there if you're not showing off. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the artist mentality, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're not going to put it out there if you're yeah. not a show off to an extent. Yeah, yeah, you kind of have to be. Um, the only time when when there's a uh, when we would prefer not to get into a deep conversation with people is during the quick paint and oh i melinda, see melinda was just talk talking a few minutes ago about that while you were trying to quick paint yeah. you, and you so you're angry with her now so no no, no 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 <laughs> well, you, we, we have a quick paint you have i think two hours two hours got it set at so that's on a, saturday right it's on two wednesday oh. evening oh, okay five okay. to seven yeah right. and, and it's in a in a confined area melinda can can speak to that here in a minute uh but we've got two hours to complete a painting so 
we don't want to get caught up in a 15 minute conversation yeah. oh, during yeah. that yeah, yeah. But, but any other time you know if you stumble across us out in the country or wherever and want to visit with us most artists are more than happy to do that um they'll probably ask you pretty much the same things i ask you how do you come across you've been doing this professionally now for years 15 mm -hmm. 20 30 years uh huh? well you, uh, yeah i guess I, <laughs> to an extent I, i've been painting since i was 10 or 12 years old but i've uh, been doing it full time at, for the last five years okay so. to an extent for, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. You, you've been getting paid for stuff for longer than yeah, the last yeah, five yeah. yeah um how do you what catches your eye is it is it is there something in particular that you that you prefer to look for or is there what's 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 the uh, what's the key to a spencer meager painting the the subject is immaterial to me whether it's a person a pet a house uh, a street scene a dumpster that doesn't matter to me i like the way this the light whether it's sunlight or artificial light the way it hits it interacts with it the shapes of the shadows that it creates um i've got a painting back here can i show yeah it? yeah go ahead so this is i don't know where you uh right just here, put it right there in the middle okay here let's put it between okay this this was uh I just did this this weekend. It's Carmel, Indiana. It's the water tower over there. Okay, so you were at an event yes. in Carmel, Indiana this weekend. Yes. Okay. And, and what drew me to I'm, I'm doing a, actually doing a series on water towers because I like them and they're, they're unique. Yeah. Most of them are blah and ugly, but when you find a neat one like this one, it I got to paint it. It's Well, it's three colors. Yeah, yeah. And, and I loved the way the sunlight was hitting it and just the atmosphere in general. And so I, you know, I picked that and got second place with that hey that's cool so, uh, so I, was, I was really thrilled with that. well that's too bad that, that did it sell or is it your are you still have it because you still uh, are willing to sell that I, oh, I'm, all, I'm willing to sell everything <laughs> 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 uh, no it didn't it didn't i didn't have opportunity to sell it oh, because it there. was in the judging yeah i see i understand well that's pretty cool yeah. I, I mean the there are occasionally you've seen paintings all the time you're talking about water tires i'm thinking about the the big ketchup bottle mm -hmm. over in collinsville yeah. Yeah. or something like that or you'll see um a uh the john deere green water tower or some mm -hmm. odd thing mm -hmm. that you, i can see how that would catch your eye uh, bourbon missouri have you been by huh. uh, on interstate 44 they've got an old i, have, I think they call I, it like a witch's hat water tower it's just oh, that's it's, cool it's got a round belly on the bottom it's a cylinder and then it's got this like a funnel on top of it and and there's a few of them around but they're real they're something from the past and they're unique and so it just catches your eye well you and know, this one says bourbon across it so <laughs> so yeah it's, it makes you kind of hopeful <laughs> Uh, let's say I, we've got some other folks coming to town. I, this the the reason I'm going to show some of these pictures of these folks is because this is, there's some there's a lot of really good professionals coming to uh, Fairfield, aren't there? Who's this guy? Uh, that's Marty Coulter. Okay, and uh, he's from Washington, Missouri. He looks like a uh, he's uh, now that would be a, he's doing a uh, is he charcoal there? Or is he no, what's he work he's with? working with a palette knife? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He does a. Um, oils with a palette knife oils with a palette knife and i'm guessing uh, i'm, I'm kind of boy that's tough to tell where he is in fairfield or uh, he he's probably in front of well main street um john, next to john robinson's office which oh, okay is, i think is where that's at okay well that's cool um has he been here a few times he's been here seven of the eight years yeah i think so and he's been a He's been, I mean, he his claim to fame is he has supported his wife and kids for 50 years doing painting, mm -hmm. <laughs> doing artwork. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, what was his name again? Marty, Marty Coulter. Coulter. Marty Coulter. Very yeah. impressive. He's trained as an architect. So. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, who's this? And well, she appears to be painting a corner. Oh, that's a courthouse. That, that's She's looking at the courthouse through yeah. an alley, isn't yeah. she? Yep. She's looking east. The That's alley. Peggy Wilson. She's from Kansas City. Okay. And she's been here four or five years. Yeah. Probably. There's there's four or five girls come, come from Kansas City. Well, yeah, you, you were. We've talked before about how Kansas City has a, a real vibrant mm -hmm. uh, plein air movement, yeah. don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. There's a. They have a lot of events over there, and then they also have a, a large body of plein air painters, and what they call urban sketchers, which is a another movement uh that's more about pen and ink and color you know just setting up 
you know, getting together in a coffee shop and just kind of sketching, quickly sketching and painting that scene. What will we have here for the for the, for the most part at the uh, at the Fairfield uh, paint out? Will we have more people you think working in uh, in in acrylics and in uh, oil, or are we going to have more people working in water, or will we have some charcoal? Will we have some pen and ink? We, I would say it's probably 50-50, don't you think about with oils and watercolors? But then we also uh, yeah, have some be. pen and ink, and we have some pastels. Yeah. And, um, well, then watercolor, it, watercolor used not used to be frowned on, but just wasn't as popular and wouldn't wouldn't tend to win the awards like an oil would. Yeah. But in the last two three years, watercolor is really coming into its own, and so you you start you're starting to see the watercolors win more awards. Is that right? And, and consequently, more artists than are painting in watercolor too. Really? So we go. We try to go where the money's at, where we yeah, think well, the money's going to be. You know? I understand that, but uh, but why is the why do, why the shift? Do you think is it I, easier I, to work with or more? I think traditionally watercolor has been viewed as it's been uh, shunned a little bit, kind, kind yeah. of just kind of like a a part of the study process, but not the finished process. And because of the work of some really good watercolor painters out there, it is now being accepted as a legitimate art on its own this uh, person looks like they're having a pretty good time who's that that's Jane Flanders okay and she is uh, she used to be from Kansas but a couple years ago she moved to st. Louis all right so uh, she's she's been here two three years mm -hmm. hasn't she mm -hmm. and uh, we've got a picture this is interesting to me there's your your judge and uh, he was the one who, who painted that picture of the train right yeah, yeah. Uh, all right now tell me we've we've talked about this before but I, I always want to make sure the judging you bring in somebody in from who's who's a solid professional what makes what's his qualifications as a, as a judge uh, well, he's a very accomplished plein air painter. Yeah. Uh, he, he's well known. He's participated in the largest plein air events in the country Door County up in Wisconsin, uh, Easton, plein air Easton in Maryland, uh, uh, San Angelo, Texas, and plein air Texas. So he's at that level where he's been invited to those mm -hmm. events. Uh, he's painted in Fairfield. He's won Best of Show here in Fairfield oh, really? before. A couple of uh, times. <laughs> he's not been here for a couple of years, and we thought this would be a good year to to bring him back well, that's a nice as, deal. as yeah. the judge. Uh, where's he from? Uh, up around Marceline, Missouri. Okay. Uh, little, I mean, was little town the called Ethel. 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 Ethel, Missouri. I'll be darned. There's Ethel and Elmer, Missouri, right up there, right together. So. <laughs> There's got to be a story there. behind this. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be. I have to do some research. Yeah, yeah, do some research. <laughs> but next time you go to Marceline, I know you said you haven't been there yet, but at some point you might, you never yeah. know. Uh, uh, you know, we haven't really talked about uh, and, and let's let's talk about it now. The, the how the kids can get involved. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how kids can get involved in the paint out. Um, well, on um, they can always go and look, watch the painters and, or the artists and ask questions when they find them. But one of the things we've done ever since we started, I think we've done we call it the kids paint out. Okay. Um, and it's a, a two hour, hour and a half to two hour workshop on Saturday morning at Frontier Community College. It All will right. be taught by Cheryl yes. Harrell this year. Folks, an idea about that. Yeah, it's for fifth and sixth graders from 10 to 1130. Okay. And you can register online, and there's the website to register. Uh, or if that's a problem, find our Facebook page, and that poster is on their Facebook page, and you can go directly to register there. So how many folk, how many kids do you think are typically involved? We usually have a full full house. Oh, 20, is that right? Twenty kids. Of course, Cheryl helped paint that uh, that mural downtown Correct. in downtown mm -hmm. Fairfield. She and her son. So right. that's pretty cool. And then the Fairfield Kiwanis, uh, they provide the supplies for the kids to paint. So to come to the class, so they just basically need to show up and uh, and that's be uh, and pay their fifty dollars or something. It's a free. What? <laughs> yeah, it's free. No kidding. No, All those supplies for free too. Yeah. Huh? The, yeah. It's, well, it's a really free, can't beat free that. day for art lesson for the kids. You know, so. that's that's. I, I'm glad that they're doing that because I, I went to the uh, I, I went to the display. I believe it was a, a, uh, in May back at Frontier Community mm -hmm. College. Whenever they had they had all the work from uh, from Frontier from uh, Olney Central, and they had several high school events in there. And there's a lot of a lot of interest in yes. art in mm -hmm. the, this day and age. Back when I all right now we're talking about the pre, the Paleozoic era. <laughs> 
going way back. We hardly <laughs> had an. Uh, we did have an art instructor, but I never saw him I, I, in high school, I, and, and uh, it was just folks. There, 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 there's more art. Seems like there might be more interest in this day and age than, than in the past. Do you see that, Spencer? I, I, like I think there's always, I think there's always been been interest in it, but you know, in this day and age, it's, it gets cut out so many times yeah. out of the schools. You know, and um, so I think any time that you know we can give back to the community, give back to the kids, you know, that, that's a, a good thing to do. Tell me about the uh, Melinda. Tell me about the chalk walk. Well, the chalk walk is a new event we added to the paint out last year, and that was a way to get some of our community members involved. So we have an adult division and a youth division. Oh, there is an adult division yes, on this. Yes, there okay. is an adult division and a youth division. Uh, they get a half of a parking spot at Frontier College on the east side of the uh, mason building to paint in not to, to park paint. in <laughs> <laughs> to chalk walk in <laughs> to chalk in Whoa. and they can either bring their own chalk or we'll have chalk there and there's no cost to enter in that one either all right i've got my idea okay i'm, I'm wondering if i'm okay. even in town here for friday I'll, 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 yeah i think i am in town uh for the friday it's before, it's before you would have to go to a game I'm it, sure. it would be before by, by a game yeah. yeah um I'm only getting half a parking space. I might be able to get an entire hopscotch grid down. <laughs> Draw a couple flowers in it. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's about all I'd be able to do. That's really about all I'd be able to. What will you? What will? What will kids come up with? Kids and adults. What will they come up with on the uh, chalk wall? It's. It's open to their imagination, but last year we had um, one little girl that did kind of a desert cactus scene in her spot. Okay. Um, some did a flower garden. Um, I don't remember exactly what all we had, but there were adults and youth both out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Meager Pest Control does uh, provide some sponsorship for it, so the youth winners... Now you know who pay. those people are. I do. Yeah. I do. It's not Spencer, <laughs> tell us, but it's... It tell who Meager Pest Control is. Uh, Meager Pest Control is uh, co-owned by my my son, Joe Meager, and uh, James Mount. Oh, James lives at Mount Vernon. Well, there you go. Joe lives at Jeff. So. Good deal. So good. we... Yeah, good. Yeah, And we're glad that they're sponsors for us. They give uh, $50 for the People's Choice Award, $50 for the Adult Award, and then the kids get a paint, paint set. And one and more... The, Fifty dollars are in chamber bucks, so you shop in Fairfield. So <laughs> is this kind of a that kind of looks like that kid might be learning how to paint a little bit too? Yeah, that's, our, that's our judge at, at an art fair. He does portraits a lot of times while he's set, set up at an art fair. Yeah, and uh, let's go see that kind of looks got like a little fellow on to learn to paint there. So little fellow learning. learning. They see now these. He's doing portraitures there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just, I'll just basically in uh, in is that in watercolor? That's no, oil. That's oh, that's oil. oil. Yeah, he he likes to paint real thin rather than the, the, the heavy thick paint um, i see but he off off camera there uh, was a i'm sure he got a girl at modeling for him he uh, well you're gonna say yeah uh, you saw the girl in the photo or not the, you see the, the girl in the picture there that he's working on uh so yeah there must be somebody nearby that i guess that gives me uh, that leads me to the next question you don't often try to paint from memory you need to you kind of need that in front of you don't you uh yeah, you know, some artists are gifted where they can, uh, they're, they're so familiar with their subjects that, yeah, they can pull it right out of their head. I'm not that way. Yeah. Uh, a few things I can do that with, but usually it turns out better if I've got something. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Turns out, turns out better if I'm reading from something, too, as opposed to just stumbling around. And I, I'll tell you the truth. That's exactly how it goes. Uh, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My guests today are Spencer Meager and Melinda States. We're going to come back, wrap things up. We're talking about the uh, Fairfield paintout. It's going to go from October 1st to October 5th. We're going to tell you how you can get involved as well. Again, uh, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll be back right after this. Do stick around. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at D at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton Building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Morning, folks. Welcome back to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm uh, talking here today with Spencer Meager and Melinda States. We're talking about the Fairfield Paintout. It's taking place on uh, October 1st through the uh, 5th of October. Judging will be on the uh, 5th of October. Let me. Uh, uh, you guys just don't do this by yourself, do you? I mean, there's no. a lot of folks involved. A lot of stuff. A lot of folks putting stuff together for this, aren't there? We have great support from our community mm -hmm. and we could not do it without them we have award sponsors that are several businesses within the community and i hate to start mentioning names because i'll miss somebody mm -hmm. so did you I, write them down i didn't write them down totally <laughs> So I, we they mention, will be advertised though. so we it's won't not, mention the purchase award sponsors you, you know Wait. who you are you know exactly who you are when you get touched for a check right we do have and we also we have, talking about purchase awards we have purchase award sponsors and those are usually families in the community that have put down some money up front to be able to purchase have first choice to pick pick of the painting oh that's pretty cool yeah it's still opportunity to do that yes yeah so folks can get a hold of uh, so you can get check a hold out of on facebook uh, the fairfield paint out on facebook if you're wanting more information on right. that program that's correct uh we have host families that they provide places for the artists to stay during okay. that week um so that's really important to us and then we have we call them supporters, but they're things that people and uh, business organizations and groups that do behind the scenes stuff for us. That right. Feed. Feed, mm -hmm. um, do printing, uh, they provide supplies, they, um, you know, provide coupons for meals for the artists, just little, lots of little things like that. So we have those people. So we have, like I said, and then on top of that, they, we have people come in and buy on Friday night, the oh, really? paintings when, okay, during so, the pro so Friday night is a buy time as well as Saturday morning. Most of it will happen Friday night. That's why I always miss out. Yes, it I'm is. I'm busy on Friday. Yes, I'm, I've always got a date with with a football. <laughs> well, or something. you need to send Dodie out. I need I'll, Dodie will go. Yeah, do, you Dodie need to send Dodie out with a big check. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We talked. Uh, uh, you know, I didn't know if you didn't want to mention any of those names then. Well, I, I'm Since afraid I missed somebody. All. all right. Because I right. didn't bring that with me today, and I, I feel bad that I did that. But, well, you know, you, you, so you I know who you are, too. I apologize to our sponsors, but they will be advertised. So I, 
you know, I just I okay. hate to mention names and list someone. We mentioned earlier. <laughs> so. I, I mentioned earlier the Nocturne. Yes. Tell me about the Nocturne. I've got I've got a picture here of somebody uh, painting in the in the Nocturne. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's uh, Rhonda Pep Miller. Okay. The Nocturne is basically you can see she's got a light system set up there, so right. she can see what she's doing. We go out, we find something we like the looks of at night, and we set up and we paint it. And, uh, and there's a pr uh, special winner for the Nocturne event. Or there something. is yes. the the artists select the winner of the Nocturne. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and nocturnes are tougher than daylight painting because you, the the colors look so much different, and your brain just doesn't process it. it. It usually takes a while of painting nocturnes to figure out how to mix the colors. I think I would think that the, that would that would um, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, is you said that uh, the I'm, I'm guessing since the other painters are making the choice of the winner on the nocturne. You got to feel pretty special if you win that. Have you ever won that one, Spencer? Or I, I, have, I, I, I have. Did, well, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't want to like dig in a wound. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I've won Nocturne. You won. You've won Painter's Choice, though. Haven't yeah, you? I've won Artist Choice, Artist choice. A, a couple different times at uh, di different events, and that, that's really that's really the most coveted award, even more so than like Best of Show. Best of Show usually means a lot more money. But to have your peers, your accomplished peers, yeah. say, "Hey, your your painting or your body of work is the strongest here," that that makes you feel good. I do have a pretty picture, and and I'm only putting it up because this is where you went last year. Uh, we're not doing that this year, but uh, but this this is the uh, Garden of the Gods shot. You, uh, I, I, your your painters must have been. Did did any of them know that Southern Illinois looked like that? No, <laughs> I don't no, think they, they were. Did. They were <laughs> Really they impressed. They were impressed. Yeah. They just thought they were going on a little day trip and it took an hour to get there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when they walked, when we parked, they're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's, so. did, did it come up with some pretty good work? Uh, yes, the best show came from Garden of the Gods. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. that, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, one of the other, couple of the other paintings, I don't know where this one came from. Tell me about this one. I love that painting. Okay, that is, that is, our judge did that up in Dubuque. Oh last, really? Last last fall at Bluff Strokes. Event. So you're basically here. You're getting a little bit of a nostalgia mm -hmm. type of, mm -hmm. uh, of thing going on because is, I wonder if that place is even still open. Oh yeah, I, just, I had breakfast there in June. It's a great great restaurant. If you're ever in Dubuque, go, go to Dottie's Cafe. <laughs> And the sign probably looks much better in his painting. Cause yeah, yeah. It was, but, but that's <laughs> a good example. The sign, this, that, that's a good look for that sign. <laughs> well, the, uh, my way I'm going on, when Niall was in Fairfield a few years ago, he painted a house that is no longer there. And it okay. was about ready to fall in at the time. Mm -hmm. And when he brought it in to turn it in, none of us could figure out where that house was at because it it was a much better looking house than what the house was. <laughs> I like that a lot. So. I, I, I like that a lot. Now, here's one from Fairfield. And uh, is this your? Is this yours? Yes. Yep. That's, okay. That's mine. And uh, this is last. This is from last year. That, when is that's that? That's from last year on Center Street. The reason I'm showing that shot of it first is because we kind of have uh, we have a side by side really of the house along with that to kind of give folks an idea of what you're looking at you when go. you're going ahead to do that house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, you've asked earlier about you know what we we're drawn to. Yeah. Um, you know, I, just, I like the architecture of that house. Uh, I don't know if you call it a craftsman or whatever, but I just I like the, the just the the way the sidewalks lead into it and the the kind of peeking out around the trees. Yeah. So that's what drew me in there. But I, I would point out too, if you look at the painting, the painting is sunshiny. Right. When the foot took the photo, it was overcast. That's what plein air is all about. That the change that happens. Oh, that's you, really cool. And you have you have to deal with that. So. Yeah. Yeah, that is, and you have basically you still have the pumpkins and everything up there too. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I tell you what, it, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. All this is starting on October first, going to October fifth in Fairfield. Big opportunity for folks to buy is Friday night. Where is that, Melinda? It will be at uh, Bob Boyle's Hall. At Bob Boyle's Hall on Frontier From, Community Cabin. Correct, and we start at um, five thirty. Okay. And it runs through to seven or seven thirty. The artists will all be there chance to meet an artist and mm -hmm. talk with, to them yep. with there their, you go with their completed works on display 
uh, if there is a, we do ask for a five dollar donation okay. when you go in, and but in that return get, that lets you vote. That lets you vote, and that lets you be in the drawing for a Spencer Meager painting. How about that? You can't, you couldn't ask for anything more. And then we also have. I'm timer? running out of time, Melinda. Sorry, I'll let you. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for being here, Spencer. I appreciate it. Good, best of luck to you next week. Thanks, Thanks so much, okay. Melinda. Hey, folks, Fairfield Paint Out October first to the fifth. That's big talk. We'll see you soon. So you can cut out my.